Mentoring is very important and is becoming increasingly important uh, as people live very fragmented lives uh, in stressful urban situations. From the Christian point of view, we have a great example. Every Paul needs a Timothy, and equally every Timothy needs a Paul. It's a two-way street. Now, I don't believe that one can set up mentoring uh, structures that are effective. I know it is possible to have digital mentoring, and I think these are improving, and I hope that they continue to do so and provide help to many people. But there's no substitute for actually allowing the Spirit of God to bring you across people and to create what I, one preacher has called the click. And you put a key in a door and there's a click. That's the click of the Holy Spirit that kind of says, I get on with you in some particular way. I like being in your presence. And if that is reciprocated and there is another click, the door opens and a mentoring relationship can begin to be established. My own view on it is don't make it formal. Make it easy, have it over, over a conversation, perhaps a cup of coffee, um, watching football or watching television, uh, and putting in small moments of, of inquiry, asking, helping, learning, as well as formal times when actually one does make an assessment, maybe once every six months. Look, this is what I've done. This is what I'm hoping to do. What is your experience? Because that's what the older person will bring. Help me to achieve. And the other way is true for an older person to be challenged by a younger person, which is basically, where is your enthusiasm gone for the stuff that you really believe in? And in that way, one gets an amazing uh, interchange of life and experience and that builds up the body in a remarkable way. To any older person, particularly an older Christian, I would regard it as a failure of, of, of your life if you did not have at least one and I hope several people that you would, of a younger generation, that you would be investing in, talking to, trying to encourage, giving them the benefit of your experience. After all, what we have, a previous generation gave us. And so pass it on is a very biblical uh, way of life. It is Paul's great advice to Timothy, uh, is to guard what has been given to him in the gospel and to ensure that it's passed on to another generation. And that is a huge opportunity, a challenge, and a magnificent uh, reward.